Hi, I'm Chris and this is Mike, my brother and business partner of Escape Kent Limited. Today we are looking for a £100,000 investment in return for a 5% share of our immersive escape room company. In our first full year, we made a turnover of £334,000. Since then, the figures have improved year on year and that's despite the current coronavirus pandemic. We've now begun developing our latest form of escape game, which will allow us to cater for over double the number of customers with just one third of the staff. Our plan is to further develop this new, improved escape game format that we will be branding as Timescape Adventures. Your investment will support the franchise of this concept, which will result in us becoming a well-known global brand. We'd like to invite two of you to come and play one of our bespoke pirate-themed games. You'll notice you've got a cannonball in the, uh, in the top of the, the sail there. Your mission is to get that cannonball from the top of the uh, crow's nest, work your way through the labyrinth maze uh, and out at this end here. But come on, the, Sarah. What's the actual way out? That's it, that's uh, it. Come on. You got it. Hold. hold. Right, we're out. Be gentle with me. Yes. Yes! 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 Oh, and there's your treasure. Hello. The treasure. Ah, that's awesome, guys. Talk me through how the new escape room concept is going to work. Essentially, with an escape room, you have one space and you'll have a collection of puzzles. A group will go in there, they're in there for an hour, no one else can use that space. What we've done is we've stripped the puzzles out into individual rooms. With our format, we can actually get four groups in every hour as a minimum. Potentially, with some tweaking, we could make it up to six. One thing I want to ask you straight away is, why franchise? And the reason why I ask that is because there are not many successful franchises out there. If you start to open up a franchise now in its infancy, you'll get different types of a level of service. You're not established as a Timescape brand. And some others will see this and say, do you know what, I'll go and create Viking Escape. I'll do something similar, but different, but own it all. I'll do it myself. It takes a lot to, to run a nine game setup. Yeah. Um, there's very few people out there that we know of that have the years of experience. And that's why we're extremely confident about the, the future plans that we've put in place. My company had those paintball zones, greatest rage, but they actually went out pretty quickly. So where would you describe you are at the moment in terms of escape games on its journeys? Because it's certainly a little way down the track. Honestly, I, I don't know at this stage when it's gonna drop and I don't think it will. It will. Can I challenge that as well? It will. In the last five years, things like bowling alleys and flight club and the crazy golf formats have seen this huge spike. And one of the key factors is they are incredibly Instagrammable. It's almost like these are trends because it's super Instagrammable. And this is not. Do you know what though, guys, as well? Everything's about Instagram with him. It's, is this Instagrammable? Is it great for the gram? The world and, we live in. I think escape rooms is Enough all to do with Instagram. It's just about having a lovely afternoon out. And I just, it's just not exciting anymore. I want to invest in formats of the future, and I don't believe that is. So for that reason, I'm out. I've never been, been to one. And as a dragon, it's going to excite me. I'm going to escape <laughs> investing. So guys, I wish you all the best. On this one, I'm out. I really think you should rethink the franchise model. And I can just see if this has got legs on it then I can name you the families that will be doing it. That name will be us. It will be. It will be doing it. I hope so, Chris. I hope so. I have a fear that it won't be. So I won't be investing. I'm out. Right, guys. I like the escape room. I believe possibly a little bit more than some of the other dragons here in the future of that concept. So I will offer you all of the money, 100,000. But in return for that, I would be looking for 25% of the business. For me, my strategy would be to open up as many as you can on your own and potentially even sell those individual franchises off after you've proven, you've put the staff in, it's under control, you've shown profits, and then people are willing to then invest their hard-earned cash in a sustainable business model. And that's when I think you'll get a decent return. Okay. So if we're agreed that that is the strategy, then I too will make you an offer. I'm going to offer you all of the money, but I too am going to ask for 25%. And I'd also be willing to share it with Sarah because I think we knocked the game out of the park when we played it. We were good, Peter. And we, we were, were good. We're good. Uh, we, we do want both dragons on board, and we're hoping that 
if we could make your money back within two years, um, you'd drop down to 10% from there each. I'd be happy with that if Sarah is. Would you take that as well, Sarah? I'd do that, guys. It's a deal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Thank you very much. Oh. Great. Well done, guys. Well done, Thank guys. Thank you.